Hi, I don't know if you're having the same problem that I've been having, but I have these black bars on the left and right of my videos, and everything's foreshortened. As you can see, I have a long thumb. I don't have a short thumb. And in my videos, my thumbs look short, and everything is foreshortened. And I've been researching and trying to figure out what's going on and how to fix it. And you may have been having the same problem as I do. I have this uh, Samsung digital camera. It's a SEMX20L NTSC. And the software I use to edit is Pinnacle Studio Ultimate. And it's uh, version 14. I think this will work probably in um, many of the other versions as well, is what I'm going to show you. So, um, I have my camcorder set up to record in the 16.9 format. Let's see if I can show you that. Okay, you've got a menu, white balance. Yeah, 16.9 is on. Okay, I recorded that video in this format. So I'm going to turn it off now. And I did some research. Uh, one website said it's a problem with this camera that there is some kind of flaw in the software in the camera and it does that with other editing programs too. So um, I searched YouTube and I searched Pinnacle forums and the website and I googled it. All I found were forums with no answers and people that had the same problem as I do. So I searched for a different problem. I searched with how to fill your screen or how to stretch the video to from from 4.3 to 16.9 format. So I did find an answer by looking for the answer to a different question than what I had. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open Pinnacle Studio 14. And what you want to do is you want to go up here to set up Sorry, I don't have screen capture on my computer, so I'm going to... You can see where my mouse is moving. I know it's a little blurry. I have this for, set for close-up, but because it's a screen to a screen... Okay, click Setup. Project Preferences. And then you make sure this Project Preferences tab is what you have open. Then you go down here. And you click use this format for new projects and then there's a drop down menu here and I chose the HD 1280 by 720 and 25p which is 25 frames per second um, you can go to 30 if you want but it doesn't matter this top one is the best one I would think and then you click OK all right, now if you had already had a project open and starting it, you want to start it over so that this setup is correct. So you just go File, New Project, and there you go. Okay. Now I'm going to go to one that I haven't changed so you can see. You just I clicked on this. Now if I put it down here into the editing bar, can see I have the things, the black bars. You can right click this up here and it'll show, so aspect ratio 4.3 is what it is, but it's grayed out. So I can't change it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to file, to edit, undo insert clip to start with. Okay. 
Now I'm going to change this clip by going up here to the middle of the top of the screen and see those glasses? Click the button next to the word Scenes. And now it's going to say Detecting Scenes from Video File. Just hit Cancel. So we're not doing that right now. We can do that later if you want. Okay, now I only have one video up here and that's the one that I decided to choose. Now if you right click it, these are black and they're clickable. So you just click 16.9 and voila! Move it down here. It fills the screen and it's not foreshortened. So hopefully this helps you with what you need to do to get it right. Um, this particular project, I've already finished the video and put it up on YouTube and I'm not redoing it. But from now on, any of my new videos will not have those black bars on the sides. So I ho sure hope this helped everybody. Um, let me know in the comments if it helped you. And um, talk to you later. Happy editing. Bye-bye. <laughs>